I've said it before and I'll say it again. The AI gods have blessed us yet again. Look, this is honestly the last thing I would have expected to be reviewing today, but I just found this, like, just found this, and you guys are going to be very excited. Many, many times on this channel, I have talked about the Midjourney AI text-to-image generator. This is an AI that currently, at least according to Google Trends, is the most popular text-to-image generator, and it's easy to see why it produces beautiful images. Proving this is not hard at all. One look at Midjourney's community feed on their website and all is seen. As you can see, these images are absolutely gorgeous. They have beautiful contrast and structure. They're very coherent. The colors are phenomenal on these images. I saw someone post this one in my Discord and this one really blew me away this morning. The hands are even correct on this image. And you know, it just really is all there put together. A lot of people consider Midjourney at the moment to be the best AI art generator, but of course being the best comes at a price. The cheapest Midjourney subscription is $10 per month, and you get limited generations, about 200 images per month. General commercial terms meaning you can actually use it to make money, access to the member gallery, the ability to top up your credits and up to three concurrent image generations at once in Discord. Of course, the standard plan that a lot of really heavy AI art generators will probably go with would be the $30 one. 15 hours of fast generations, which is quite a lot of generating per month. Unlimited relaxed generations, so you do technically get unlimited generations. The relaxed ones just take a little longer. Obviously, you still get the commercial terms, member gallery, credit top-ups, and three concurrent fast jobs. And of course, they've got this $60 per month pro plan which is just absolutely insane 30 hours of fast generations however this new development this new ai that has been released founded as of december 2022 so last month this was created might throw a wrench into midjourney's plans here with their monthly billing which isn't really the cheapest option in the world i still think it's pretty reasonable but this ai we're talking about today is entirely free yes believe it or not this is a discord based ai very, very similar to Midjourney, that is entirely free. Completely free for you to use. Of course, it will be linked down in the description for you guys below to join and check out. What separates this AI from Midjourney, though, is it actually uses multimodal more than just one AI model. So, based on your prompt and based on what you're trying to create, it is going to try to pick the best AI to generate your image. So viewers at home, this is the Blue Willow AI Discord server. It's actually quite large here with a total count of 32,000 Discord members. That's a pretty big server. Nowhere near the size of Midjourney, by the way, which is like well over 4 million users on Midjourney. But again, of course, this one is not private. It is completely free for you to join. And it's super easy. All you have to do is scroll down to one of these newbie channels and do an old Midjourney slash imagine literally the same command as Midjourney and then type in your prompt and you will get four images just like you get from Midjourney. There's also stuff like aspect ratios that are included with Blue Willow as well. So there are even some more advanced options, but it's still pretty new. So it's probably still lacking on a few features in comparison to Midjourney. FAQ here. No, you can't invite the Blue Willow bot to any other Discord servers at the moment. It is free as of now, of course. Can you post NSFW content? Nope, absolutely not. You will be banned. You can change the aspect ratio to a three by two if you want. Upscaling is also a feature with this. Unlimited free prompts. Variations are also supported. In terms of the background on Blue Willow, you can read the rest of this FAQ, but they're pretty secretive of who the founders are, and again, founded very recently as of December 2022. So let's see what people are generating with this AI. The prompt for this one was simply Tony Stark realistic. I think these are actually coming out pretty well and definitely great for a completely free AI. Definitely looks like Tony Stark. Samurai skeleton in the moss lands here. We're definitely seeing some aspects of the prompt here. Definitely moss lands, that's for sure. Very realistic looking, pretty coherent trees and background and everything. The skeleton is lacking in a few of these generations, but it's not too bad and it definitely resembles a samurai. This apparently was Disney style dark vampires. This one's leaving a little bit to be desired, I will say. Not a great generation. Here's a variation of the prompt Elven Snow Girl. 
pretty coherent looking face, you know, the eyes and the face are symmetrical, and it's definitely like an elven looking woman. And the aspect of snow is definitely in the image as well. Here are some Spider-Man images which are honestly coming out shockingly well, very very coherent. Definitely Spider-Man looking, especially this one in the top right hand corner. The rest of these guys got a few too many legs. But yeah, as you guys can see, it is literally the same setup as Mid-Journey here. Let's go ahead and toss our own prompt in here and see how fast it takes to generate an image. 3D render, lemon character wearing sunglasses, meditating on a mountain peak. Okay, that was actually decently quick. That's probably quicker than Midjourney, I would say. And the images here we're getting are pretty interesting. I've never seen an AI-generated image that looks quite like this in terms of this prompt, because I have used the lemon character prompt a lot. This one, you know, it kind of looks like a lemon-looking character, and he looks like he's kind of meditating. This kind of looks like a pear, or it could be a lemon. Definitely on a mountain peak, though. This one just looks like a photo of a lemon on a mountain peak, and this one's just a mountain peak. I tried the same exact prompt in Midjourney, and I will say that these results are quite a bit better than what I got out of Blue Willow. However, Blue Willow is completely free as of right now, and is still very much in development. So we'll cut it a little slack on that front. Midjourney has had months and months and months to improve. Alright viewers, so I've done a few more comparisons in between Midjourney and Blue Willow. One thing to note here is that the upscaled final images from Blue Willow are actually higher resolution than Midjourney's. So starting out with this first prompt here, this was simply just Universe as the prompt. And honestly, I think that Blue Willow's image is pretty good here. It's just sort of like a spacey planetary image. As you can see with Midjourney, we get a very different result. It's much more artsy looking. There's a lot more color to it. It's a lot more abstract than analytical. And, you know, it actually has a person in it sort of looking at the universe. So it's this is really, I think, more of a which way would you like it to behave? You want it to be more artsy and unique or do you want it to be more realistic and practical. This next prompt was a fiery woman with a lion on her side. And as you can see, this is the image we got out of Blue Willow. It's definitely a fiery woman and we definitely see the lion. The lion's face and the woman's face are both pretty screwed up though, I will say. I know you could get a similar image out of Midjourney that definitely looks a lot better. But just for prompt for prompt, Midjourney took it again in a very artistic way. It, the fire's definitely there, the lion's definitely there, the woman's definitely there. But it's not like an image of a woman with a lion by her side. It's like the woman and the lion are one and intertwined in some artistic way. So you can see sort of there's very different interpretations. Kind of the same as two different artists would interpret the same prompt or idea. But again, I would consider this one more coherent than this image, although this image maybe is a little bit more accurate to the prompt in some ways in terms of the composition. This next prompt was cameras and film equipment on a movie set. As you can see, we've got some imagery that looks like it could be cameras or film equipment, but it's not very coherent at all. This is Blue Willow, by the way, and it's really, really hard to tell what things are supposed to be. It's kind of a blobby, gross image in general. I really don't like this result. And Mid Journey is a little bit better, but not great. This image definitely has photorealistic aspects to it. It looks like a picture that someone took. However, the film equipment is very blobby and kind of wavy and gross looking. It doesn't really look tactile and real like a real photo would. So I think both results here are not really ideal, but maybe Midjourney is a little bit better on this one. This next prompt was simply just cat. As you can see, this is before any upscaling has occurred. And we've got some images that definitely look like cats from Blue Willow here, but I will say none of them really look like photos of cats, except for maybe this top left one right here. The rest of them kind of just look like weird 3D animation cats. It's, it's very uncanny valley, I will say that, but they're coherent nonetheless and they look like cats. Midjourney here, I think, did a little bit better of a job. It's much more artistic like we've seen before. So some of it, you know, if you're looking for like a photorealistic cat, you're not really necessarily going to get that every time at a Midjourney, especially with this result right here. I don't know what it was trying to do with this. Um, but this bottom left result is pretty photorealistic, I will say. In general here, I think it's really up to the viewer at home to decide which images they like the best between Blue Willow and Midjourney, but Blue Willow of course is completely free and it's very similar to Midjourney in the way that it behaves. Not necessarily in the way that it generates. However, Blue Willow is 
brand new to the block, so we'll cut them some slack, and I think that they're doing a pretty decent job. It still definitely has the ability to produce some pretty fantastic results, like this ornate Christmas tree scene here with the golden presents at the bottom. And honestly, for this line artwork, it really does seem to be pretty impressive as well. Like, check this one out. That's pretty darn good. And I would expect a similar result from Midjourney. 2D animated mice wearing trench coats, pretty good generation as well. Here's an image of a pirate ship. Not too shabby on this front, I will say these are coming out pretty nice as well. And the image to image results are really fantastic. You can do it the same way, like Mid Journey with Blue Willow, you just paste a link in and then paste a prompt in, and it will give you a result that is basically image to image. These are super impressive. Characters do also seem to be a strong suit for Blue Willow as well. So viewers, you're going to have to test this one out for yourself. Of course, it is free to test out. If you make anything cool, make sure to send it to my Discord server, link down in the description. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. I'm at VidPro, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.